Happy Saturday, Internet. I missed you while I was away. I'll keep the intro brief today as I've got a lot to say, so open your ears and make way. This is The Loop. The biggest story across the internet this week was the tragic hunting death of Cecil the Lion, a 14-year-old lion considered a, quote, iconic attraction in Zimbabwe by American dentist Walter Palmer. Now, the Zimbabwean government wants to extradite Palmer to face justice in Zimbabwe. Let's break this down a little bit. Palmer paid local hunting guides Theo Bronkhorst and Honest Trimor in Delovu $50,000 for what he thought was a legal hunt. Okay, so he was a fool to believe that a lion hunt could possibly be legal, right? Well, sadly, that's not necessarily true. While Asian lions are considered in danger, Injured, African lions are not. At a population of less than 30,000, they are only considered vulnerable by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Now, the Zimbabwean government is up in arms over this killing, but it has nothing to do with principles or outrage over hunting. Zimbabwe, like many African countries, offers permits annually to hunt big game like elephants and lions. In fact, they made $45 million last year from hunting alone. Walter Palmer's guides had no permit, and Cecil brought in tourism money, hence the outrage. For Zimbabwean officials, it seems, cruelty has nothing to do with justice. And if I may speak my mind for a moment, let's talk about justice. Cecil's story has been a rallying cry around the world. How do we still live in a world where animals are hunted for sport? This man is far from the only one who derives pleasure from killing another creature. The hunting industry is alive and well, and for every illegal murder of an animal, there is one that is perfectly legal. What are we doing to protect those who can't defend themselves? While we all called for punishment of Walter Palmer, five endangered elephants were slaughtered for their ivory in Kenya. Where's their change.org petition? Jimmy Kimmel isn't going to shed tears on live television for them. Why? Because they're not famous on the internet? What about justice for Sam DeBose or Zachary Hammond, whose deaths at the hands of police were met with deafening silence this week? Or Sandy Bland, who even the head of the Texas State Troopers admits never should have been stopped or arrested? We have the power to care and to push back against the horrors of our fellow men. Right now, the American government is considering a change.org petition signed by over 100,000 people that calls for Walter Palmer's extradition. The world doesn't change while we call for justice once in a while. We change the world when we demand it daily for everyone and everything that can't defend itself. Thank you for letting me speak my mind. And now, more news from around the world. In Israel, an 18-month-old Palestinian boy was killed in a double house fire started by Israeli settlers in the West Bank. The walls of the burned houses were graffitied with the word nikama, or revenge, in Hebrew. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a statement saying, I am shocked over this reprehensible and horrific act. However, Mahmoud Abbas, the Palestinian president, wants the International Criminal Court to investigate the killing as an Israeli war crime against the Palestinian people. According to the United Nations, Israeli settlers have committed over 120 attacks against Palestinians in the West Bank since the beginning of 2015. This past Sunday, Planned Parenthood was hacked by anti-abortion activists who released their website databases as well as the names and contact information of every employee in their organization. Thankfully, none of the information of the patients of Planned Parenthood was breached. The attack was motivated by a video released earlier this month that revealed that Planned Parenthood donates fetus organs and tissue to medical research research facility, a practice that is completely legal but is highly upsetting to many. Planned Parenthood is taking this hack very seriously and they are committed to protecting their patients. We may finally have a vaccine that protects humans from the Ebola virus thanks to an experimental trial in Guinea announced Friday morning. The trial, dubbed Ebola sans suffit or Ebola that's enough in French, tested a ring vaccination similar to smallpox vaccinations developed in the 1970s. Vaccines are tested on all people in close contact with someone who contracts the disease in hopes of building a protective ring of inoculated people around them. The trial had a small sample size, roughly 4,400 people, and the vaccine is 75 to 100% effective over a period of three weeks. Now researchers must see if it will remain effective over a long period of time. And finally, what did people love in media this week? In music, Future's album DS2 tops the Billboard 200 just above Taylor Swift's 1989 at number two, which has now been in the top 10 for 39 consecutive weeks. In TV, Suits had the most downloaded episode on iTunes this week, while Game of Thrones season and five top season sales. And at the box office, Pixels opened at number two with a disappointing $24 million gross, while Southpaw and Paper Towns opened at number five and number six with 16 and $12 million respectively. And that's everything that you need to know about your world this week. So this weekend, when you're freaking out about the fact that it's already freaking August and summer's end is imminent, take solace in knowledge because until next Saturday, you're in the loop. And if you haven't visited our Facebook page yet, we post videos there every single day. Go ahead and give it a like, facebook.com slash sourcefednews. I'm Matt Lieberman, thanks for watching. School is coming back and I know you hate it, but today we're gonna make backpacks for you to wear. Backpacks go on sale July 27th for $40.
That's it? For a backpack? Really? Da 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 ding. <laughs> you should buy mine because the school system is failing us. You don't need it anymore. All right, what is this? Are you starting with fries? This is a fry. <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha!